For your enjoyment and education, I proudly present the electric gherkin. In the UK, we call these gherkins, not pickles, so get over it. Before we start, I want to stress that this experiment is dangerous. There are lethal voltages involved that can cause serious injury or death if you come into contact with them. You must never do this unless you are an electrical engineer, electrician or allied profession, and even then it's hella sketchy. The first thing that I learned when doing this experiment is that I had underestimated the size of my gherkin. That's not something you hear very often from a bloke, but there it is. The nice stand that I 3D printed was just far too small, so I had to go back to the old fashioned way of doing this, a glass and an elastic band. For this experiment I'm using a green elastic band, for no particular reason other than I like green. I use 50 Hz European electricity for doing this, so it's going to sound a little different from most of the electric pickle videos on YouTube. I used a variable auto transformer to power my gherkin, and this let me increase the voltage slowly from 0 to about 90 volts. You don't tend to see this experiment done in Europe because the 230 volts we get out the wall tends to make the gherkins explode, so a step down transformer of some kind is an absolute must. Here we go. To begin with, not a lot happens, and that's because I'm just too scared to smash it with 110 volts straight out the gate, so I'm just ramping it up slowly. From what I know of the physics, the sodium in the gherkin should begin to line up between 55 and 80 volts. It turns out that gherkins, not being an optimal form of sodium based lighting, start up just under 90 volts after steaming up the electrodes for a bit, and then you get this nice yellow orange light inside. Neat! If you've ever seen those old orange street lights, they work on the same principle as what's going on inside the gherkin. Sodium atoms become excited by the AC voltage, causing their electrons to move up to a higher energy state. When the voltage falls, the same electrons relax to a lower energy state, giving off a photon in the process. The energy of the photon is equal to the difference in energy between the two states, which corresponds to a wavelength of orangey yellow, or 590 nanometers. Naturally, I couldn't resist doing this with the lights off. After shouting at all the relevant smart appliances, I got it reasonably dark in the lab. The camera really doesn't do justice to the colour, or the smell of this experiment. Seriously, if you decide to do this, do it somewhere that's well ventilated. Afterwards, I did a quick post-mortem on the gherkins. They definitely had some arcing going on inside them, as witnessed by the blackened flecks, but not enough to really cause the amount of orange light that we saw. I want to say this experiment was fun, and it kind of was when I saw it light up for the first time, but it was mostly just terrifying. I mean, exposed mains voltage terminals really deeply unnerve me, and I think that's the right response to something that could potentially, <laughs> see what I did there, kill me. Please, please, don't try this at home.